Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. This is Sai Shram Aliyala. Sorry for the delay in this video, of course, but this video is all about round one allotment of A Triple E 2022 Amrita Counseling. So without taking much time, let's get into the video and uh, get to know more details about Amrita round one allotment. So basically, Amrita round one allotment is out on 19th. So today's date is 21st. So it's a deal of two days. It's due to my placements and all. So don't worry. How to check the result? Just uh, I will be leaving the dashboard link in the description. Click that. Enter your login details. I will just show you how to do that. So I have entered the login details and just clicking on sign in. So you will be taken to this particular dashboard. So just scroll down. If you scroll down here, you will be having a Amrita CSAP 2022 scholarship category and Amrita engineering entrance exam 2022. So just click that. So just to know the rankings. So his A triple rank is 5757 and his uh, phase two percentile. He's it's it's his best percentile and he got in JEE mains 85.338. Got it. So now he applied for both for both JEE mains as well as to A triple. So now uh, you can see here under this particular uh, Amrita CSAP 2022 scholarship category, it is showing that congratulations, uh, you have been allotted in CSAP 2022 first allotment based on per preference submitted. Just uh, let me just show you view allotment details. So you can see here again here congratulations, it is saying that mode of allotment is JEE, campus allotted is Chennai and the branch allotted is CSE that is core, preference allotted is 8th preference and uh, slab is 3rd slab and uh, allotted category in general category so for other state students it shows general category and usually for home state students it will show home state so according to this uh, like as he got the fee i mean seat allotment he had to pay 1 lakh rupees before 28th august 2022 if he miss out paying the 1 lakh rupees before 28th august 2022 his seat will be cancelled and he will be out of the counseling so please keep in the mind that whoever got allotment please pay 1 lakh rupees which is initial partial tuition fees okay Again, uh, later on remaining fees based on your slab, based on your uh, branch, based on your campus, the fees will be there, right? Out of that, whatever you paid earlier, they will remove it. Whatever is the remaining fees, they will ask you to pay later on after that. Okay. So this is about it. Just scroll down. You can see here it is showing like 1 lakh rupees. Click on accept offer and complete the payment. So that's what you need to do. And the thing is, uh, you need not to pay 1 lakh at once itself. You can pay in maximum of 4 transactions like 25,000, 25,000, 25,000, 25,000 or else 50,000, 50,000. You can pay like that also. Hello? So this is about allotment. Just click the link in the description in the Google form. Share with your friends and ask them to fill. Please fill the correct data guys. So it is going to be really helpful for students who are going to appear next year. So it's in your hands now. So the, uh, after the first allotment, so what do you have to do after paying the fees? So there will be three options. I mean three things. First is accepted and confirmed. Second is accepted and opted for sliding. And third is waitlisted. Waitlisted in the sense those who didn't got any allotment, you have to wait until the next round. You need not to pay any, any amount. And uh, you know what? Uh, if you missed out registering, I mean, if any of your friend missed out registering for round one, they can also register now in the before the round two starts. And uh, so those who wanted to choose accepted and confirmed and or accepted and opted for sliding, they have to pay one lakh rupees before 28th August. And based on their option selection, like if they are really happy with the option they got in round one, they can click accepted and confirm. If they are like they got third option, for example, they got third option. Uh, like he they're checking for first two options in that case they can confirm this seat because if, you, if they want to stay in the counseling even if they don't want this if, if they want the above two options in the upcoming routes they want need to pay the one lakh rupees even if you cancel later on your money will be refunded back don't worry so this is the fee structure annually so based on uh, your campus based on the branch based on the scholarship category you have to that pay that fees first as of now you have to pay one lakh whoever got allotment the remaining fees you can check from this page and this is the hostel fees according to the campus wise and this is the refund policies for uh, uh, Amrita campus Coimbatore campus it is 60 days don't worry like withdrawal request received after 60 days no refund of any academic fees so before that like uh, based on the number of days they have uh, given how much amount you are going to get back so once the classes starts so this is going to happen before classes starts if you apply for refund they will take 1000 rupees and refund all your amount back so if it gets cancelled due to not meeting the eligibility criteria they will refund you amount based on this and if you at all you feel like you got some other uh, place in a very good college and you refunded back i mean you applied for refund so this is how you are going to get the refund amount from amrita so don't worry about that 
so that's it for this video guys i hope everyone will fill the google form and everyone will share that google form to all your friends and make them fill that google form that's it for this video guys if you find this as a time of the video please do like share and subscribe see you in the next one until then take care bye bye jai hind